Welcome to guitarschool.net. I'm your host Donovan, and we're here with uh, Logan Mater, who you know him from previous works with Medication, Soulfly, and Machine Head, and his current project, which is his band New Black. What's up, Logan? What's up, Donovan? How are you? Nice to see you. Good to be here. Um, you grew up in uh, Oakland? Yeah, Oakland and some, some other cities in the surrounding Bay Area. When you first were getting started, how was the scene? Back then, was it really thriving, or was it kind of like you were the one, only one out there? No, I came. I came out of um, the early '90s. There was this Bay Area thrash music scene. Metallica started it, uh -huh. and then came like Exodus, Testament, Death Angel, uh, Violence, <laughs> and Forbidden Evil, and these bands that uh, some people know about. You almost spearheaded, I would say, the the new kind of scene. The sound that you kind of had at the time as a guitar player, I noticed was kind of uh, revolutionary in the sense that a lot of guitar players afterwards almost copied the sound. You were like the first one to really bring the low end chunk, I would say. Yeah, yeah, people people say that to me. And yeah. I guess at the time I wasn't, I know for a fact that I wasn't copying anyone. And in regards to that sound, how did you discover that sound? Did you kind of just tweak the knobs and then one day you said, that's exactly what I want, you know, as a guitar player? No, we, we tuned down, you know, we tuned, first of all, tuning the guitars down to, to a C to drop C, it wasn't a common thing at the, at the time. And um, utilizing a natural harmonics in a, in a heavy guitar riff is something that I had I never heard anyone do. That would be kind of the signature thing that was, was mine. Yeah. Still is mine. Can you remember the first song you, you learned? First song they learned is... Like, uh... <laughs> nice. That's it right there. <laughs> that's cool. Yeah. And, that's it, a... and immediately after that, I started creating my own riffs. Yeah. And I think that's a really good thing to do. I mean, I guess it's good to learn other people's stuff, but I think the more that you, you know, rely on your own ear and your own feel, the, the more you're going to become an original guitar player and writer. Nice. Yeah. 